Hello and welcome back to another week of Sambo Eye Racing. We are still in week 12 in the V at Laguna for a uh, running from the back, hopefully to the front challenge. It's a tricky circuit to overtake on. Oh, orange car started slowly. Where's he gone? Oh, oh my god. Okay. That was a busy start. Always fun to have a blinker right in front of you. Trying to ease my way into this. Starting in 10th, wanted to start in 12th, but two more people didn't qualify. And up to 6th. So yeah, this isn't the easiest track to try and overtake on. I'll, uh, I'll try and overtake in safe spaces. Give you guys an idea. As, oh, okay. Avoid him. They're too wide there. So the main thing is not to make any late moves into the corkscrew because as the, the high soft of the week showed, it just means that you're going to end up hitting each other. No offence, Thor. Well done on your high position in the championship this week, this year. Hopefully you'll do some other series next time. I say that full of love. Okay, so... So a good place to overtake. I got a little bit deep into the braking zone of turn 11 and just allowed me to nip inside. I'm still in the draft of the leaders. So that we just passed Ellis. So Ellis is A rated or has got an A license, 3.2k. So he's no mug. But just in ahead, 1.6k. I don't think I've raced with him before. So I'll just give him an extra, an extra look, just to make sure, see what his lines are doing. And up in the front, we've got, what, a 3.3k and a 3.4k. Wow, we've got three people over 4k, uh, over 3k with me in here. It's not the easiest challenge. And obviously, yes, I'm on my second account. Everything's pretty normal here. Have you guys been getting on at uh, Laguna this week? Hopefully the guys help. Oh, just seems to run slightly wide there. Okay, he's taking a good line. He's taking the line I'd normally take, but I just had a bit of a run on him. Gotta be careful going through here. And we're up to third. I've got to chase down two guys who, uh, even if I'd started at the front, I'd be racing with the entire time. It's not always a guarantee. What sort of times have you guys been putting in in uh, qualifying? I, to be fair, I think I've only qualified once this week, and that was in the first race of the week. Did a 42.4, which got me, I think, second place. Uh, it was the first race, but I've been doing the Draft Masters this week rather than uh, the V. Still suffering with this fractured wrist. A little bit loose on entry there into five. Got to watch what Ellis is doing behind me. Make sure he doesn't try a lunge. At 1.9 behind Fabian ahead. 1.7. So even though he had the draft, I'm able to close the gap because I would put my house on the fact he's probably in third gear up the hill.
Where's Ellis gone behind me? Oh, he's disappeared. Okay. Right, concentrate on catching the people ahead of me. Okay, I've got draft lock on Fabian ahead. It's 1.1. But he's also got draft on Jackson ahead of him. So that nullifies my, uh, my draft advantage. point. So 1.1. So let's see. Turn 5. This is the, uh, the important one in the race. Is it 1 as we go into it? Now let's see where we are at the top of the hill. So I've got draft on him. He's got a stronger draft on the guy in front of him. He's dragging him up the hill. It's a point 0.9. Point 0.8. So yeah, I think being in fourth is worth what, one to two tenths of that hill. Managed to close the gap on him even though he had a stronger draft. Now at point eight. Now at point seven, right. We start racing soon. Still quite a bit to go in the race. The problem's going to be, if I do manage to pass one of them, it's likely to mean that the other's going to be able to drive off into the sunset. Because passing someone at Laguna, it's not like Lime Rock where you've got the massive long straight and you can do it without losing any time. It is usually going to cost you a good few tenths. With next week being week 13, what I'm planning on doing is putting together a sort of 10 tops and tips for racing the V. It's not going to be as long as the uh, long racecraft video I did uh, in week 13 last time. It's just going to be more or less bullet points uh, of the things that I think are, are the most important. How to get fast in the V, how to race well in the V. Um, so that'll be coming out next week. Uh, I may do a couple of silly races that they have on there. And uh, clip those as well. If anyone's remotely interested. I know the vast majority of you are only here for the track guides. That's absolutely fine. Oh, and I passed a thousand subscribers. So thank you to each and every one of you for... Uh, I've gone deep there. Well, now it's going to take me another lap to catch them back up again. That's a nuisance. And now they've gone. And now they're back. Yeah, thanks to each and every one of you for the uh, support. When I set this channel up sort of six months ago, I never thought I'd have a thousand subscribers. Now let's go for 2,000. And also for next season, for any of you guys watching, um, I do a, uh, it's a Thursday night in the US, Friday morning if you're in Western Australia sort of thing, called the Broken Wing Race League. Um, if you do a Google search, you'll find them. They've got a Discord. They've got a really nice little multi-class ra um, race series with the V and the Formula Ford that goes on a Thursday night. Races at really good tracks, really good guys, very friendly set. Um, it's not overly serious. You can, you know, come and go as you please, uh, but I would recommend it. There's a real mix of ability in there. 
Um, but yeah, it's some really fun racing. So that's the Broken Wing Race League. I'll stick a, uh, a link to the Discord in the description of this video. And I do, I do implore any and all of you to come and join us. It's really well put together. I, a guy that runs it called Jay Salazar. So check it out. Alright, final lap. Let's see what we can do. Caught them back up again. We're going too wide. So when they go too wide, it's usually good to pick one and stick with them. Try and block the other one off. So here we go. I'll stick to Jackson's rear. Plenty of room because I've got Fabian on my inside. Oh, Jackson slow down a bit. Want to get off the throttle in the uh, in the apex. So I'm going in the middle here, so I can move either way if one of them has an issue. Yeah. So these are both A-class drivers. They both got decent IR. So I'm going to trust Fabian on my outside not to kill me. I'm going to keep it in third gear because I had to compromise my entry and get off the throttle. So I'm not making a move into the corkscrew. As you'll see, I was alongside him all the way up the hill. But I had to take a, a different line to my normal one. It's part and parcel of the, uh, the practice. Practice different lines. Don't just hot lap. Races very rarely allow you to do that. Got second now, as long as I don't mess up this final corner. Yeah, that's okay. Unfortunately, this straight isn't long enough to overtake someone. There's a rule. And I got second place. The happy days. Hold in, make sure no one hits you. Right, thank you. I've been Sambo Racing. I'll see you again next week for some uh, different videos. Thanks a lot.